and his resurrection. And the Muslims, the Muhammadans, they are so desperate to prove to us that Jesus did not die. And the first question I ask myself anyway, I mean, what Muslims even have to do with Jesus? Islam is a, is a, is a false religion. Their God is the moon God. So why even Jesus is their interest? It sounds confusing. In one hand, the Muslim, they say that Moses was a Muslim. Abraham was a Muslim. Isa, aka Jesus, we don't know what the Isa came from. He was a Muslim. But their God is not the same as the God of Abraham or Moses. So how that work? Islam as a satanic religion try always to hijack anything. If you remember, there's a video made by Zakir Naik. It's, it's, it's called The Concept of God in Islam and Hinduism. So when the Muslims they speak to the Hindus, suddenly the God of the Hindus is the same as the God of the Muslims. They hijack anything. They will hijack any book. They will hijack any religion in order to dominate, to take over. But we know that Islam is so stupid, so silly, so confusing. And that's why we see Muslims argue with Muslims about what Islam is about. My Skype is open, and today will not be any different from every day. Muslims will call us, and they will fail. Prove me wrong. Feel free to call me, text me first, and I will take your call. As you see, our conversation is about the dead Allah and the living Messiah. Is Allah even alive? You see, I do not need to prove to the, Christian, to the Muslims that Jesus is alive because this is what they believe. So we do not need to debate over it. I mean, as long as both of us, we agree that Christ is alive, then the dispute is about if their God is even exist. Because in order to be exist, you have to be living God. Is Allah is a God who is exist and he is alive? If you are a Muhammadan, feel free, I will be happy to take your call. We start, you know, first with verses we mentioned last time from the Bible. And those are verses the Muslim they mentioned to us. You know, the Muslim, they, uh, they try to... Uh, to refute Christianity, so they send you verses, and supposedly those verses will sponsor their belief. <laughs> so they say to you, "Can you read for us the second uh, Thessalonian, you know, chapter two, eleven, twelve? And it says there that for this cause God shall send them strong delusion. But you know, as usual, the Muslims, as part of the hypocrisy of this cult, when they choose for you a verse. What, is it important for us to know what cause? I mean, it says for this cause. How come what is important for the Muhammadan is what after, not before? Because in order to know what the cause, we need to see what the cause. We cannot jump over it. And then we need to find out what is the delusion we are talking about. You see, when somebody he abandoned God and he decided to follow the devil, this is exactly what the Bible is speaking of. It is your choice. And because now you are not with God, with the true God, you are by your own. And that will make you under the control of the devil. So when a Muhammad and he decide to refuse to believe in the Messiah, this is why we need to go and read a few verses before to understand what we are talking about. The 
The Muslims, they don't want you to read what is before. This is talking about the wicked, the filthy, the child molesters, the thieves, the criminals, the rapists, the one who they do deceiving and they do unrighteous work. Those who don't receive, receive not the love of the truth. And for this cause, God shall send them strong illusion. So already they are in, in hell, literally. So what, what it says here, that God, you know, because they are evil, he will not make them succeed. That is the delusion. The delusion is you think that you are, with your evil, is going to be succeed against God. As an example, when Muhammad he may come and he says, I am a prophet. We agree, most of us, maybe some of you don't, maybe the Muslim for sure don't, that Muhammad is a satanic creature. A satanic creature, not necessarily a human, according to Islam, it can be a genie. Genie is Satan himself is a genie. Even Muslims believe that lizard is a satanic creature. Uh, mice, satanic creature. I mean, they have their own. Black dog is a satanic creature. Actually, black dog is a Satan himself. So Islam is like is a mix. They use the word Satan, but if you go in details, you will find that Satan is a good guy in Islam, and the bad one is Allah. If you go in the Quran, you will find the following verses. Chapter 7, verse number 16. You see that uh, when we as a Christians uh, read the Quran, maybe the majority of us know nothing about Arabic and we don't speak a single Arabic word. So Shaitan, he said, and this is the Muslim translation, because you have sent me astray. The translation absolutely false, but I will go with this for now, just to show you, even when they try to duck things, why shaitan is shaitan? Because Allah is more shaitan than shaitan. Allah was so powerful in his deception to the point he deceived even Satan. And he made him Satan. Satan is just a victim of Allah. The verse in the front of you. Now, if we go in the Arabic, the Arabic here it says "awaitani," "awaitani," just to show you how they lie. The same word is exist in the Quran in different places. As an example, the Quran says. That my servant, Allah said supposedly, my servant, you have no authority except al gawin This is the same word, but this is a, po a polar name, like, you know, many, you know. al uh, is, uh, is about uh, an action you did to one person, me, myself, when you say to me, and al gawin uh, is somebody simply. A group of people who they are labeled with this al -Ghawin. So what al mean? means? Any Muslim can call us and tell us what exactly the Quran is speaking about. Who are they? al -Ghawin. What this God is talking about? Any Muslim? Before I put this, the verses in the screen, I'm trying to see if there is any Muslim he got excited uh, and he have an answer. Any Muhammadan? I find it very funny that the Muslims didn't know 
what we are talking about. You know, sometimes I feel like when I speak to Muslims, uh, you know, they quote us and they quote for us verses from the Bible and suddenly they become scholars in the Bible when they do not even know one verse in the Quran. Always the Muslims, they have no idea or they play dumb, by the way. Sometimes they knew. They knew. But the game is to to uh, to say I don't know, so you can get away from whatever accusation will come or whatever question is going to be next. If we go to the verse, as long as there's no Muhammadan here, he have a courage or knowledge to dare to text me in Skype until now. Let us show the verse in the screen. Uh, uh, even, I mean, the same, same exact words. It's not like, you know, just repeat the meaning. It's repeat exactly the same word. Uh, so in the Quran, it says, in chapter 15, verse number 42, and by the way, the Muslims, when they made chapters, they were trying to copy the Bible. Those are Arab. They do not know how to make chapters. They don't even know the books. The first time they learned about books, it was from the Christians, and specifically from the Aramaic. Now I know that some Muslim will say to you, do you know we have philosophers, we have Alpha, you know, and they, you know, they will start. But even that, this is not from the Arab, you know, either either from the Aramaic or from the Persian. Arab have no books. Even the Muslim himself, they say to you that Muhammad himself was illiterate. This is telling you what kind of community we are talking about if their leader himself is illiterate. And you have no authority, supposedly Allah is talking over my servants except the translation here says the erring one is that a true translation absolutely false never never ever accept islamic translation they lie they fabricate and they don't share the truth we change the translator and we will find that there's a huge difference we just we did not change the quran we just chose different translator and look what happened. al gawin the one, the word we were talking about, it's mentioned in the other verse. It translated as the following, Mishrakeen, which means those who associate with God. Those who go astray. The criminals. The polytheist. The evildoers, etc. So use your imagination. Okay, here we need to stop. As long as the word Gawin means all of those. We go back to the previous verse where Allah, He made Shaitan one of the Gawin. Look what happened. Here it says, قَالَ فَبِمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي Please, He said, because you became me, you, you made me a Gawi. So now the word astray will take it off. And we will replace it with the other verse because it's used the same word meaning. So what will, what, what will come? Because you made me mushrik to go astray. You made me criminal. You made me polytheist. You made me evildoer. Who is the one who made me? Quran says Allah. Any Muslim have a comment? So if Allah is alive, he is going to be the same person as the devil. Do you really Muslim believe that Satan is a victim of Allah? Because this is what the verse is saying. Satan is a victim of Allah. Allah, he made him evildoer. Allah deceived him. Allah made him a criminal, whatever description you see there. It's not Satan who chose that. And here we ask ourselves how big the problem in this religion is. If Satan himself and the Muslim they claim that they are fighting Satan, if Satan himself was the victim of Allah, so you are the victim of who, Muslims? Are you the victim of Satan or you are the victim of Allah?
أنا محمدا أنا مسلم You will notice how quiet they are and how, you know, delusional they are about they have a God. But if your God is a God, is he a good God or a bad God? If he is a bad God, then your God is Satan. If you are, your God is good God, then he is the enemy of Satan. But as you see, Satan, he is a believer, actually, and he himself he is complaining to Allah and saying to him, well, it's your fault. You made me. You did that to me. So what is my problem? Any Muhammadan? Very quiet. Religion. When you have knowledge. Very loud. When nobody around knew. Any Muhammadan? And you know, the Quran, as usual, as long as it is a book of contradiction, uh, there is a verse in the Quran says, <clears throat> 